morning what? from Silver Bay, Minnesota. We are heading on a 6.8 mile hike today. We are doing the Bean and Bear Loop, which um, we're really excited. This has been like one of those hikes we've had on our list and it's a little more like of a challenging hike. So we're really excited to get started. This is the trailhead. It's part of the Superior Hiking Trail. So they have a nice sign map right here that kind of gives you details on everything. So follow along and we are gonna show you what the hike is like all the way to Bean and Bear. Lakes. So it's Friday, June 19th. So we have like the most beautiful day for this hike. It's like sunny. It's like high is going to be like 68 today and there's no wind. It's just a beautiful sunny day. So perfect day for hiking. The flowers up here are blooming and they're so pretty. Now as we're hiking we have all these like colorful little flowers. There's Lake Superior in the background. So far this trail is really nice. So one thing I was reading in the reviews was that it can get really muddy. And so we wore some old shoes of ours. But trail right so far. <laughs> we just started this hike so we're not too far on it. But so far it's really dry. Haven't seen mud yet. So right now we're crossing a road. So, yeah. And then you just kind of keep going across the road and the trail just keeps going forward. Um, but yeah, so I'll kind of show you footage. If there's a lot of mud, I just know that a lot of people said there was a lot of mud. So, we're as ready as we can be. <laughs> so just an FYI, um, as you're hiking this trail, they do have like these blue markers on the rocks and areas where you are walking because right now we kind of have a split so there's this path that's the way we want to go and then there's this path and we're at first we're like I don't know where to go but then we looked and there's a blue marker here on the ground so just watch for those and they will lead you to <laughs> Bean and Bear Loop. So we came super prepared for this hike because if you watched my vlog from last weekend when we were in Savannah Portage State Park we had like a infestation of ticks <laughs> when we were hiking on that beaver pond trail and the um bug spray i had was not any good <laughs> so guess what we went all out <laughs> it says 98 percent deep so we sprayed our legs however stuff, yeah <laughs> we sprayed our legs but i don't know that there's really going to be an issue because there's like no bugs out either so i don't know no mosquitoes yet no bugs these trails are awesome and groomed great, so maybe we won't have to worry about any ticks at all today, which I'm okay with. <laughs> so here's just a little bit of like muddy area. That's our first little portion that we came across, but definitely manageable. We're not gonna have issues here, but we'll see how it kind of goes as we continue this hiking. Is what it's like when it's bad. Yeah, I just, I'm seeing this is all dried up, but this is yeah. probably what it looks like when it's like really bad mud. But thankfully, all is well for today, so far. We're crossing another road. There's just a bunch of four wheelers, so this is crossing road number two. And a nice boardwalk. some more muddy areas but again most of this is already dried and hard um, not very muddy at all however I could totally see from some of the photos that I saw online I could totally see how this could get kind of gross I'm sure like in spring or after a really heavy rain this could be really gross but again so far so good for us a clear day you can't even tell the difference between the clouds and Lake Superior they just like blend into one it's so pretty
blue marker. So just a heads up, lots of like up and down um, areas and you're climbing rock like this. So lots of rocky areas. So just a heads up, this is kind of considered a moderate hiking trail. So um, yeah, I would say it's definitely it's definitely moderate to you know more difficult, but you know, if you have any issues, this would be definitely difficult for you. But in all, it's a really awesome trail. But lots of up and down and lots of rocky areas. And then it levels out and then it's like rocky again. So <laughs> get a little bit of everything. All right, you guys, we made it to the split. Um, so now um, we are gonna go to the left and then that will bring us to the lakes. So we started the hike at about 9, 10 a.m. And it is, oh, Whoa. he's breaking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only held up by this. Oh my god, it's not even in the ground. All right. <laughs> fix that. Um, it's not going to be me. <laughs> anyways, we started the hike at about 9, 10 a.m. You start at the Penn Boulevard trailhead. So this has, this section has taken us about an hour now because it's about 10, 10 right now as I'm filming this. So let's go, honey. <laughs> Onward. <laughs> It's about 10:30 right now and we made it to the Penn Creek campsite. So, we just went from there to here in about 20 minutes. We are finally getting the first glimpse here of the lake. So, we just made it to Bean Lake. Now that we're to the lakes, you pretty much just hike right along the lakes. This whole trail just kind of goes along the lake, so it's beautiful views from here on. Woo! All right, we are just coming up to our first viewpoint of Bear Lake. So, there it is. Right on the edge. And right there is Bean Lake, so we're right between the two. <laughs> All right, here's Bear Lake. Wow. These cliffs are crazy. It's like straight down. A little mud, you guys. This is probably the slipperiest area we've seen so far. So we're at the point of um, Bear Lake. And now you can split. You can go down to the water. This is the lake access or you can go up to the viewpoint and that's where we're going. But muddy, right here at this this split. Got a little bit more, now it's definitely a little muddier, but not bad, totally manageable. We got some good logs so we can walk over. Going uphill, still lots of markers along the trail. This last stretch going up, the out, look out, this is good. Whew. This is burning. It's like straight up, <laughs> huffing and puffing a little. All right, we made it. Yeah. Ready? Here it is. <laughs> How cool. So we got bears, the first lake here in the front, and then Bean is in the back. So this is the famous photo that you always probably see online. Um, and a lot of them are in the fall, and we have both said we want to do this hike in the fall too. I think it'd be so beautiful. I don't know if it'll be this fall, but definitely um eventually when the fall colors are out but i'm loving the pretty green and the blue right now this is stunning so oh this is a good one and they have a little what is this like a book to sign nice should we sign this sure. oh. what you there it is you guys Take this way back down and back. All right, you guys, that was so pretty. I didn't really talk a lot at that second viewpoint because there was a whole bunch of people there. So, so that first viewpoint, we took a bunch of photos and video, and then there was the little booklet you could sign your name, and then past that's like the big overlook. So we got to the overlook area about 11:20. So 
we started at 9.10. And to get to those viewpoints, so it was about two hours and 10 minutes. But again, we stopped, we took photos, but I'm sure a lot of people do that, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, it was just a little over two hours to get to that viewpoint and it was so worth it, oh my God. Beautiful. So it is 11.45 as we're leaving the viewpoints. We just kind of sat there and enjoyed it. So, um, got there at 11.20, leaving at 11.45. So now we're gonna hike real hard and get back to our vehicle and keep on beach. enjoying the day. Yeah, Vince wants to go to the beach, so legs are dirty. that's what we're doing. <laughs> so now it'll be interesting to see like how long it takes us to get back. Cause I was reading reviews and they say it seems faster going back than it did coming. So stay tuned and we will see how long this takes. Getting a little muddy on the way back. We got some water holes. You're really bad at balancing, aren't you? <laughs> well, this will be fun. Oh God. I think so. Yeah. All right, got a little bit more. Now it's definitely a little muddier, but not bad. Totally manageable. We got some good logs so we can walk over. Going uphill, still lots of markers along the trail. So it has been absolutely beautiful with no bugs. Even now that it's like warmer, there's still no bugs and we didn't even like spray our whole bodies down with bug spray. We just sprayed our legs and down just to help with ticks. Um, haven't seen no ticks, no mosquitoes, like beautiful. We just made it right here and it's 12:14, So it took me about seven minutes from there to here. Easy peasy. Even the husband behind back there. Um, yep, gardener snake. I didn't see it. I'm deadly afraid of snakes, but he's back there taking a photo of it. <laughs> of course he is. He's like, come on over, honey. It's a beautiful one. He's really big. I'm like, yeah, no. I'm gonna just keep trucking along. <laughs> oh God, did you get him? Uh, I brought him with. No, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab him, like, chase you out of here real quick. Oh my God. He He's knows big. better. Big. After how many years? He slithered up he the knows rock better. and then he turned around and looked at me and Tongue thing. Oh, that's nice. He was sticking his tongue out at him. He was just saying hi. Yep. <laughs> Super glad I wasn't in part of that experience. All right, we made it right back here. It is 1225. This way back down is way, way, way faster than this loop, but you don't get the views or anything over here. You see mud and snakes. No, <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, so now we just got to make our way back down here. Hit the crossroads. This was the first road. It is 1252 at this point. So we're almost back to the trailhead. Now that we're kind of getting back to the end, I just wanna kind of give you guys our review of this. So we are definitely not like the fittest people, but we're definitely not like out of shape. And I don't know, I would it's say, tough, right? yeah, I would say it's definitely moderate to challenging. This is really long. It's, you know. It's up and down pretty much yep, most of the time. The trails are quite. There's some straightaways, but not many. Yeah, so rough, a little rough on the trails. So I can definitely tell that after you know these 6.8 miles, my knees, my ankles, you never my feet. Miles in a row. Yeah, they're all hurting. But we are really proud of ourselves because we have never actually hiked this um, far in like one setting. So this is like a big rewarding thing for us because we've hiked this much during you know a day. But it's like you go hike a mile and then you have a rest. Go hike another mile, rest type thing. So this was really cool to be able to do this whole loop in one big hike. And so when we got here at nine, there wasn't too many people in the parking lot. I think on like the way to the lakes, um, we passed maybe four or six people. Um, but now coming back, there's a lot more people and it's about one o'clock almost. So, um, so yeah, just a heads up. You're gonna see a lot more people the later you are. So I recommend getting early. That's our recommendation. But I'm sure it would be really beautiful like in the evening too. But yeah, this was a really great hike. 
and we're glad we had such a beautiful day to enjoy it. Ready to be done though. Yeah, we're ready to be done. We're getting hungry. Food, beer, food, water, water, more water. More water. We emptied our water jug, so there's another tip. <laughs> she emptied the water jug. <laughs> Bring lots of water <laughs> and good shoes. Oh my God, I see the sign. I've never been so happy to see a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, but oh my God. Pains in my legs that I've never felt. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Change into the old flip flops. <laughs> I'm way the new one. Oh, it feels so good yeah. to just get those shoes off. So it's 1.10 that we finished the hike. So it was exactly four hours round trip to do the whole loop. And um, you, we could totally say we took an hour at least sitting there, stopping, taking photos. So I would definitely say between three to three and a half hours exactly, like hiking time for sure. So yeah, um, definitely that's how long it took us. So it was great, Sorry. rewarding and awesome. Great challenge. Now we are gonna go just relax on Iona's beach. Um, we have never been to this beach before. It has like pink sand pebbles. So we figured, say. yeah, that's what they say. That's so we're say. gonna go check this out. We got our cooler and we're gonna just sit on the beach and relax because our legs and our ankles and everything are super sore. So this will be nice. Yes, these are pink, but they're definitely more pebble stone-like, not sand. <laughs> but this is way cool. The water is so clear, so pretty. Oh, Cubby's going in. Oh. Oh. Is it cold? Yes. Oh. oh. It's like painful. It's so cold. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. Awesome. We're gonna have a little drink on the beach. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What kind of beer do you got today, hon? Castle Danger. Ooh. Have Lock you had that one before? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> is it good? Awesome. Oh, this is so relaxing. All right, hon. Let's uh, let's see some rock skipping. All right. <laughs> oh, do it. Uh huh. Oh, fails. No. What? Oh, that there is two there. Oh boy. This is a genius skipping a rock. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Over an hour. It was so peaceful. Uh, I don't want to leave. Yeah, my feet still hurt and my knees are still hurting from that hike. But just that hour of sitting here on the beach was like perfect because now it's time to eat. We're starving. <laughs> Essentials, right? <laughs> so tired. What are you gonna get? I don't know. You just shot from our hike. Energy. I'm energy. <laughs> oh, I know. I am too. It is 5 at 14. <laughs> we are on our way home, but we had to, you know, get the classic DQ. Alright, honey, what'd you get? Chocolate dip going. Ooh, that's different, not a blizzard. Nope. Changing it up. Small. <laughs> I didn't change it up, you guys. I'm sorry if I failed and I got the chocolate brownie extreme. <laughs> I can't help it, but it's just that good. All right, you guys, that's a wrap for our hike around Maine and Bear uh, Lakes. Did you guys have any questions about anything with the hike? Of course, let me know. Like we said, very challenging, but very rewarding. So yeah, we're really tired and we're like ready to be home. And it's probably an early bedtime for us tonight. <laughs> So we will see you guys.